This video is sponsored by Western Digital. What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and you're probably like, what the hell is this big clunky thing on your desk? Well, <laughs> this, this right here is actually powering my entire filming setup right now. Like literally, my camera, the lights, the top camera, the lights in back of me, everything is plugged in right here to an arguably dangerous power strip. That's besides the point. The point here is that I'm completely off the grid with my filming right now, which is kind of ridiculous. So ignore all of the trash and stuff laying around, but this is plugged into here, which goes to this power strip, which has everything that I'm using to film this video with right now. Like everything right here, the cameras, the lights, this camera, the screen, all this stuff is plugged in right here. And you can see actually on the top of this, how much watts it's using. We are using 97 watts out of this thing right here. And you can see the battery capacity is at 97%. Let me put it this way. This thing is an absolute monster. This is the Fremo X700 and I, I've never had anything like this badass in terms of like battery, like off the grid, like kind of like rugged everything. This, this even has a handle. Let me tell you more about this, but in order to do that, I really need to be able to put it under the camera and show you things. So I'm gonna have to go back on the grid for a second, but I wanted to show you that it is possible that I can power probably most of my office just off of this thing, cause this can do up to 600 watts output. And there's a version higher than this that can do up to a thousand, which is ridiculous. I feel like I could I could power my, my whole office right here off of this one little thing. Okay, so as promised, I have everything like unhooked from this. This thing is about 17 pounds, I believe. It's pretty heavy, but obviously, I mean, it's going to be because it's a, freaking chunk boy that can power just about anything. And there's a lot to discuss here on the front. So first up, I mean, really, let's appreciate how cool this looks because it looks like I am carrying some kind of like time traveling device, which I just, the sci-fi nerd in me loves that. But on the front here, uh, we do have, let's see, we have two USB type C ports. We have a 20 watt output and a 100 watt output. We have four USB type A ports. We have two AC outputs up to 600 watts. Then we have a, a DC out right here, which is you know your standard little plug there. Uh, we have a DC 12 volt and we have a charge slash solar input because yes, I'll show you it in a second. This thing has a freaking solar panel for it. On the top here, um, you can see that we do have a power on off button, uh, we have DC on off, we have AC on off, and we have a lighting button right here. But I think that this little power screen right here, this little screen right here is really cool because it will tell you how much power you're using. It gives you the battery capacity. It'll tell you what uh, outputs are actually enabled or turned on um, by default right here. It'll, it'll tell you that we have AC on, or we can turn that on and off. If we turn that off, you can see AC off and it makes a cute little chime. We can turn the DC on just with a little press of a button. And then we have these cool lights here. On the front here though, this is where things are kind of cool. We have a light, right? So let me, I'm gonna turn this on, put on some glasses, close your eyes if it's gonna be bright for you, but check that out. Has a light on the front. Hold on, wait, there's more to this. The light comes off and is rechargeable and it has a magnet on it. So you can literally like stick it like something magnetic like that. Okay, it took a second for me to get it to stick there, but it does have a magnet on the back and I just think that it's cool. Obviously you can't turn it on and off when it's not on there, but there is a little button on here that will allow you to adjust the brightness and the modes of it. Um, so we can press the little button on the side and you can go ahead and adjust it. Then you can dock it back on there when you're ready and you can turn the light off. It's got SOS modes and it's got multi brightness levels that you can play with. but. Just the everything that's in this package is quite 
quite a bit. And like I said, this thing is really heavy. Um, but the cool thing is here that it comes with a couple of things. Hold on. This video is brought to you by Western Digital with their new Blue SN570. With read speeds up to 3,500 megabytes per second, the SN570 offers up to five times faster performance than their best SATA SSDs. I will say though that the performance here is definitely great, especially if you're using intense applications like Photoshop or video editing software. This drive can definitely make your life a lot easier and save you a lot of time in the editing process. And if you're looking for backup, there's an addition of Acronis True Image for Western Digital. It's definitely important to check out Acronis as well because this can help you back up your work so that you don't lose files or have anything lost or damaged. Very important when you're doing creative work, especially for clients. So if you're looking for an SSD that can provide performance, reliability, and doesn't break the bank, I would definitely recommend checking this out. I mean, honestly, for any creative work, having a fast, reliable drive is important as I'm sure many of you know so go ahead and hit the link in the description if you want to find out more for yourself obviously we have this massive charging block right here like this thing is pretty big um, but you know it's a it's a beefy uh, beefy power supply here this will charge in about four and a half hours which is I think is pretty good speed I don't know what normal speed is for something like this, but four and a half hours seems not that bad. And then we do have uh, this charge adapter right here as well, if you wanna plug it into your car, if you're like, you know, on the road or whatever, traveling. And it also came with a nice little carrying bag right here. I mean, it's, you know, it's nothing to write home about, but it will keep the exterior kind of protected. You can just slide it inside of that bag and keep everything safe. Now, like I said, there are other accessories for this. Hold please. One of the first things that they had sent over is this uh, insulated carrying bag. Like I said, this thing is heavy. I mean, we do have a handle on it, but insulation is important, especially if you're like out in areas where you might need to have this insulated for whatever reason. Uh, this does come with a carrying strap which is super convenient to sling it over your shoulder instead of having to lift it by the handles. Though it does have handles, um, but you can see just deep inside of here, it's like a little lunch box. Like <laughs> it's insulated, like it says, and it has pocket on the front and the sides as well that you can use to uh, kind of put things in. So that's a cool accessory, but that's kind of like whatever. The cooler accessory here uh, is this Fremo Hyper 100 and this is some serious business so first off this thing is like a briefcase <laughs> like it literally has a handle on it and it unfolds to reveal the solar panels inside and like as you can see this is like some serious stuff you guys like <laughs> this is so serious uh this thing charge it, will charge um, the Fremo 700 in about five to 10 hours. I guess it depends on how much sun it's getting, right? I mean, that's how solar power stuff works, um, but it's a huge thing. Like this is big <laughs> and it's even got stands that pop up from the side that you can use to prop this thing up with so that you have it facing, you know, towards the sun. Let me see if I can just get this standing here for a second, just like that. And on the other side of it, the other side of my fancy solar briefcase is the power right here. So we have our power outputs on here. We even have a USB port on there as well. So you could just charge like whatever you want from this. Um, but <laughs> this is the cool part. Like this, you can just plug this little sucker in here and charge up this with solar power, like in five to 10 hours. I mean, if you're in a pinch and you need some electricity, I mean, this isn't a bad thing to just throw in your trunk and just to have there, you know, in case y you need it. I mean, cause, cause why wouldn't you? But the one thing that I just think is, is cool and fascinating is the fact that this is like off the grid status and I don't have solar panels. Uh, I don't have, well, I guess now I have a solar panel. I don't have like any kind of, you know, um, green electricity like that. And while this isn't necessarily that, it's just cool to be able to like, I can literally go wherever I want and be able to do whatever I want plugged into this thing. Now mind you, this thing has a 662 watt hour lithium ion phosphate battery inside of it. And it's about $399, which is actually 
One of the most affordable that you can get, considering what this offers. Um, I This isn't like sponsored by Fremo or anything like that. They sent it to me because I was like, I wonder if I can power my office from this thing. <laughs> Which is a stupid idea, but it actually freaking worked. So I thought that was really cool. And I think this thing is, is pretty cool. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to check out the Fremo X700 for yourself. They do have an X700 Pro model, which features very similar specs, but it does up to 1000 watts output, which is kind of a lot, like a thousand watts. I don't know, if you wanna find out more about this sucker, this chunk boy right here, I will definitely leave a link in the description for you because I feel like this is just a really cool thing to have lying around for a rainy day or if you need to time travel somewhere or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you think though about the Fremo X700 down in, I'm shaking the whole table putting this thing down. <laughs> let, let me know what you think down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, do the thing. And I really love you all. I thank you so much for all the support. It means the world to me. Um, yeah, th this is freaking awesome. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll be back. I'm gonna go to like 19, 87 and see how cool the 80s were when I was two years old. So I'll see you guys later. Once again, this is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.